Well, um, it's really good to see you this morning, or at least that you can see me. Um, and um, welcome to Morning Prayer on Tuesday, the 20th of September. Um, I hope this finds you well and I hope it finds you warm. Um, it, of course, things are beginning to get a little bit cooler now, aren't they? Hence, uh, <laughs> hence my big jumper. Um, <clears throat> but um, hopefully, uh, hopefully, yeah, all, all is well. And of course, after the last um, couple of days, the momentous um, events of, of yesterday um, and um, I hope you were able to, to follow it if you if you wanted to. Um, and um, it was a, a, a very um, meaningful service and occasion. Well, um, <clears throat> today, of course, lots to pray for, not least um, continuing to pray for the king and the royal family in their mourning, um, as well as everybody else um, who finds themselves in um, a period of, of, of mourning at the moment. Um, we are um, praying today in the diocese for um, those who provide spiritual direction. Um, there are a network of um, what are called spiritual directors, um, people who get alongside um, others and um, simply reflect upon um, their spiritual life and where God is with us. Um, so we'll pray um, for them as they support others. Uh, and um, we'll be hearing from Psalm 5 and um, a bit of uh, the scripture in New Testament um, from the book of Acts. Uh, chapter 13, as well as obviously praying for many things going on in the world and in our communities, in the church and in our own lives. Um, as always, you can follow um, Morning Prayer on uh, using the Daily Prayer app or um, using the link provided on the Church of England website. O oh Lord, open our lips <coughs> and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed, <clears throat> and the new day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Well, Psalm 5 today is perhaps appropriately a psalm of lament. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my King and my God, for to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning I make my appeal to you and look up. You are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my faith, before my face, for there is no truth in their mouth. In their heart is destruction, their throat is an open sepulchre, and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God, for they let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many, many transgressions cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them so that those who love your name may exult in you. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous, and with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy forever. Yesterday at the Queen's funeral there was a real sense of singing out for joy in celebration, although clearly it was a moment of great sadness too. There was also, I thought, conveyed a real sense of the Queen's faith and the hope that we have in God and in Jesus Christ. All those of us indeed taking refuge in the Lord, being glad that we have that hope, that peace and that joy. Acts chapter 13. The next Sabbath almost the whole city of Antioch gathered to hear the word of the Lord, but when the Jews saw the crowds they were filled with jealousy and blaspheming they contradicted what was spoken by Paul. Then both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, saying, It was necessary that the word of God should be spoken first to you. Since you reject it and judge yourselves to be unworthy of eternal life, we are now turning to the Gentiles. So the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have set you to be a light for the Gentiles, so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and praised the word of the Lord, and as many as had been destined for eternal life became believers. Thus the word of the Lord spread through the region, but the Jews incited the devout women of high standing and the leading men of the city and stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of their region. So they shook the dust off their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium, and the disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The same thing occurred in Iconium, where Paul and Barnabas went into the Jewish synagogue and spoke in such a way that a great number of both Jews and Greeks became believers, and the unbelieving Jews stirred up the Gentiles and poisoned their minds against the brothers. So they remained for a long time speaking boldly for the Lord, who testified to the word of his grace by granting signs and wonders to be done through them. But the residents of the city were divided. Some sided with the Jews and some with the apostles. And when an attempt was made by both Gentiles and Jews with their rulers to maltreat them and to stone them, the apostles learned of it and fled to Lystra and Derbe, cities of Lyconia and to the surrounding country, and there they continued proclaiming the good news. <clears throat> Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new day. As we reflect upon the historic events of yesterday, Lord, we give you thanks for all the events that they passed off peacefully that all the arrangements seemingly went well. But more than that, Lord, we give you thanks that your name was proclaimed and glorified as we celebrated the Queen's long and extraordinary life. And Lord, we continue to pray for King Charles and his family as they mourn their loss. And we pray that the next week as they remain in official mourning, will be a chance for them to take time privately as a family. And Lord, at the same time, we pray for those people we know who are navigating grief, those who've lost loved ones, included among them the friends and family of Peter Rowe, who died on the same day as the Queen. So we pray for Margaret and the family. And Lord, we pray too for those uh, for whom recent events will have triggered emotions and stirred up experiences of grief which have been magnified. And Lord, we pray that they may take their refuge in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
And Lord, today we pray for the church. Once again, thanking you for the central place that the church played in events yesterday. Praying for our archbishops, Stephen and Justin. For our own bishops, Bishop Ruth and Bishop Michael. And Lord, especially today, we pray for spiritual directors, for those who offer advice and accompaniment along the Christian journey. So Lord, we thank you for those many people, often retired from ministry, not always, who walk alongside others. So Lord, we pray that you would continue to equip them and grant them wisdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do pray for our own churches here in Staple Grove and Norton. Lord, we thank you for the opportunities we've had in the last couple of weeks to engage in new ways with our communities. Lord, we do pray for all those things that we have on our agenda at the moment, not least our house groups, which resume around this time. So we pray for their leaders and for their participants. And Lord, I pray for the plans that we have for a new website. Lord, we thank you for the work that's already been invested there and I pray that the remaining work that needs to be done will bring clarity and that our website will offer a new and accessible ways for people to engage with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray within our churches for the ongoing worship review. Lord, we thank you for the gift of worship. And we pray that the seeds sown in our services on Sunday will continue to bear fruit in people's lives as we go about our lives in worship. And Lord, I pray for our ongoing discernment, reflections and prayers about how we might develop and evolve our services. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the world. Inevitably, the focus was on one place yesterday. Lord, we're conscious that all the different leaders and representatives who came to the service yesterday will have returned to their homes all over the world. So, Lord, we do pray for the global community, especially those countries that need our prayers, conscious that in the peace and holiness of yesterday's service, at the same time, war was raging in places like Ukraine, Afghanistan, Somalia and others. So, Lord, we continue to pray fervently for peace. Lord, we're conscious that the cost of living crisis continues. Whilst that's been somewhat reduced in profile in the last couple of weeks, nevertheless, people have been affected in very real ways because of it. So, Lord, we do pray for our Prime Minister and government as they make important decisions coming up. Lord, we pray that they would be led to look after the needs of the most vulnerable. Lord, in your mercy, (coughs) hear our prayer. And at the same time, Lord, we pray for those people we know who are suffering. All the friends and families of Derek and of Les, for the care that they're receiving. Pray for Sophie and for any other individuals known to us who need our prayers at this time. 
Amazing Lord. Once again, we simply ask that in the words of the psalmist, they would find refuge in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So, Lord, we pray for the day that lies ahead of us, for the neighbourhood coffee morning today at St John's Staple Grove. We pray, Lord, that people will be drawn to come and that your Holy Spirit will infuse that time. And Lord, we pray for the meeting of the Taunton clergy chapter today, that that will be a time of fellowship and friendship and of mutual learning. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. And as your son Jesus Christ has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, um, thank you for joining me, whether it's live um, at um, about nine o'clock on uh, Tuesday morning or um, later on on Catch Up. Hope that you have a great day. If you are watching live and you fancy coming over to the neighbourhood coffee morning at St John's Staple Grove this morning, um, beginning at half past ten until about twelve, something like that, you'll be very welcome. Uh, and um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. <laughs>